Welcome with us folks. Tonight I'd like to draw your attention on something that is a little different than what we're used to and something that is a little different than what we've actually showed you and it's the gap warning. Um, right now in front of you you have the S&P 500 index, the SBX. You're probably used to looking at the SPY. SPY is the exchange, exchange traded fund, the ETF. The SBX is in fact the real index. Um, one is traded after hours and uh, 24 hours. In fact, if you're, um, when your broker allows it, SPY can trade 24 hours as of the S&P 500, the index itself doesn't. So what you will see is what happened last Thursday, and that is a gap up on the morning. This is the close line on Wednesday night, and this is the open on Thursday morning. So basically you have an area, area here where there's nothing. It's a void. It's a gap up. And this is what was interesting. I'm not talking about looking at it to fill right away. However, you have to keep an eye on the possibility for it to eventually fill. And this is where I'm looking at SPY. Same time. However, you see that this one has the after hours right here where this is the Wednesday when closing time. And this is at the bell, right? So the gap that you saw on the SPX is this gap. Basically what we're looking at is a situation where we close at a low point, a little under 422, I recall, and we are opening 423. And what happened is, let's say you're rock climbing. You're going up, and you put an anchor somewhere in this vicinity, and then, oh, we're at market all-time high. You put another anchor there. The anchor lets go. What's going to happen? You might hold on the next anchor, right? On this anchor. And then if this one goes, well, you're left with this anchor, right? Which is support. And then if this one goes, this one goes, well, I mean, if this, that's, that's your lifeline right there. And if this one was to let go, what's going to happen? Well, you're going to hold from this guy here all the way down to the next support. And you're going to fall to fill the gap. Now, it's hard to see here because there's a lot of activity in the uh, after hours. However, if we were to go back to where we were here, you'll see that we closed, open, went up. Then our anchors didn't really hold well, and we ended up bouncing, filling the gap. This was the gap. Make that a little clearer. This was the gap and we bounced right on that gap. Now, what I'm trying to draw your attention to is not, well, you could have been, this could have been a very good put play. However, my attention is to grab the bottom here. The bottom is, the gap is filled. We've broken many support lines, right? And now we're down lower. If um, we're going, if we go back to the spy line, this is when we entered. We were interested in entering at this support line. Why? Showed you the gap was filled and the stochastic momentum index was down at, if I recall, on the five minute. It was down at minus 94, which is really, really low. So basically, it's really extended the bottom. 
and it has to bounce at one point. So my point was at least we're going to try to fill the gap back up to 423, right? We were down to 422. So this is why just a hair under 422. This is why we called the 422 calls at 120. And when we reached the first target of 423, right? This line, which also is this line, you notice? We were up and we called a partial exit at 182. 182. And when we reached this area, we were up 100% on the remaining position where we close it. 240. So basically what I'm trying to show you guys is this. Look for possibilities of a gap to get filled. And this more that morning that gap got filled after the whole thing didn't last didn't hold filled the gap and it started moving up afterwards. It's not always the case, but on all gaps, keep an eye on keep an eye open for this possibility to have the gap fill either trade the gap down or trade the move up after the gap is filled but keep your eyes open for this um we managed to get a pretty decent trade in no time i hope you guys uh will put this into your tool bag and maybe I'll be able to exercise it um when time comes I hope you're learning something from this, guys, and I'm glad to have you with us. All right. Have a great weekend.